Hi. Let's learn about imputed interest. Imputed interest is a term used in tax law to describe a situation where a lender charges no interest on a loan, but the IRS considers the loan to have been made at an interest rate that is imputed or implied by market conditions. This can occur when a lender charges a lower interest rate than the market rate, or when a borrower receives a loan at a below market interest rate. In such cases, the IRS may require the lender to pay taxes on the difference between the actual interest rate and the imputed interest rate. Imputed interest occurs when a taxpayer has borrowed money but the lender charges no interest or an interest rate that is much lower than the market rate. The tax treatment of such loans depends on whether the loan was an actual loan, a demand loan, or a gift from friends or family. This distinction is important because the tax authorities treat each type of loan differently with respect to imputed interest. The IRS established applicable federal rates to determine the lowest interest that one may charge on loans below a specific interest rate threshold and considers the amount of potential income generated from the interest rate as imputed income. These rates are regularly published as revenue rulings and can be looked up on the IRS website. When calculating imputed interest on a zero-coupon bond, an investor first determines the bond's yield to maturity. Because the adjusted purchase price of a zero-coupon bond is initially equal to its purchase price when issued, the accrued interest gained over each accrual period adds to the adjusted purchase price. This value is the imputed interest for the period. There are several exemptions to the rules on imputed interest, which may allow a lender to avoid paying taxes on the difference between the actual and imputed interest rates. Loans for the purpose of buying a primary residence, funding a business or investment, and loans from certain organizations may be exempt from imputed interest. A zero-coupon bond does not pay periodic interest payments to the bondholder and the imputed interest is the difference between the purchase price of the bond and its face value. Bondholders are required to pay taxes on this imputed interest each year. Imputed interest is important for determining pension payouts and other instances, as taxpayers may need to determine better imputed interest in other markets. In most cases, imputed interest is not tax deductible. Exceptions include using the loan proceeds to buy a primary residence or to fund a business or investment, and certain organizations may be exempt from the rules on imputed interest. In most cases, the lender is responsible for paying taxes on the imputed interest on a loan. In some cases, the borrower may also be required to report and pay taxes on the imputed interest, depending on the specific circumstances of the loan. The calculation of imputed interest can vary depending on the specific circumstances of the loan. In general, the imputed interest on a loan is the difference between the actual interest rate charged by the lender and the market interest rate for a similar loan, multiplied by the loan principal. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Imputed interest is a type of interest that is assumed to have been paid or earned, even though no actual interest payment has been made. 2. Some loans are exempt from imputed interest, such as gift loans between members of the same family for less than $10,000. 3. Imputed interest is calculated according to the accretive method. 4. Imputed interest can also apply to loans from family and friends, depending on the terms and value of the loan. 5. This is done to prevent individuals from avoiding taxes by not charging or paying interest on loans. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.